What's going on, Pack? My name is Volt21. I'm going to show you how to install the Paint Mod. Now, with Mod Loader for version 1.7.3, there'll be a, f a link in the f in the description below to go to the forum post of where the the Paint Mod is. So, what you do is on this page, you can scroll down on the page, and you're going to do is you're going to find a download and add FLY link also when it's compatible with the mod loader. I'm guessing with the one with the mod loader that you can use with other um, with other mods. The one that we're going to install is just the one by itself with no other mods installed. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to back up your Minecraft files because just in case something happens, we want to make sure that everything gets down, everything gets uh, you know, it's freshly installed. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to click on start in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen or start search. I'm running with XP Professional. Um, if you say I should upgrade, just please donate because that would be awesome. And I run legit software. <laughs> um, so click on start at the globe in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Then you're going to click on run. You're going to search or start search. You're going you're to search for percent sign app data percent sign and hit OK. The first thing you're going to go into is you're going to go into the dot .minecraft folder. You should be in the application data folder go into the roaming folder if you see that for windows 7 then you go into the dot minecraft folder what you do here is you're going to highlight everything within here you're going to right click right click and choose copy which is you're going to create a folder on your desktop or your place of choosing and paste those files in there so everything's backed up i want to bring back my saves because i want to experiment with this uh this mod once everything is copied over what you do is you can delete everything within the dot minecraft folder once everything's deleted, do that now. In the dot, dot Minecraft folder, deleted. What you do is you can launch Minecraft. This is the way I like to do it. It just works. You can probably force update and it'll write everything, but I like to start from scratch. So you enter in your username and password, and you're going to log in. It's going to launch Minecraft just to ensure that everything is it's a freshly ver fresh version of Minecraft that's installed. Everything's running. It's run. It's good. Close Minecraft. So you're going to go back into that dot .minecraft folder. If you lost it already, just go to start, search, run, and start search for a percent sign app data percent. Okay. Go into the dot .minecraft folder. Then you can see everything within here. What you're going to do is you're going to download the, the paint client. Also, if you choose to do the mod loader one also. I have both downloaded. So if you just want the client and you don't want any other mods installed, you're going to do is you're going to install the client. If you want the mod loader version of it, you have to download the mod loader version. Plus you have to download mod loader first and you have to install mod loader first, just like the page says. If you don't do that correctly, then it's not going to work. So you have to install mod loader first. If you want to use mod loader in your version of Minecraft and then the paint client. This particular version we're going to install is just the paint client itself. What we're going to do is you're going to go double click on the bin folder from the dot Minecraft folder, and you're going to find the Minecraft jar file. What you do is you're going to right click on that and choose seven zip and then open archive. I use seven zip. I'll also leave that link in the description below. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to delete the meta dash INF folder. So you can click on it once to highlight it, press delete on your keyboard and then hit okay. It's now deleted. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the paint client zip file, choose seven zip and then open archive. Put it side by side. You're gonna highlight everything within here. You're going to click and drag it over to the right hand side where the other dot class files are and you're gonna drop it off. You're gonna say yes, everything's overwritten and then the client is installed. Now what we do is we can go into Minecraft. But the first thing I'm gonna do too is I'm going to Go to my saves. I'm going to my backup. Go to my saves. I want my world one. I want to copy it. I want to paste it. So now my save is back in my normal save spot from my backups. I'm just going to close these. It's taking its lovely time to install or copy over. Once it's done, okay, it's closed and close that. I'm going to log into Minecraft. Measuring screen is awesome. There. 
select I am my Minecraft. Okay, now the paint mod should be installed. The crafting recipe is we need to put down a workbench. That it's that. Actually, we actually don't even need that. There. There's a paintbrush tool. And then what you can do also is take flowers or your choosing of dyes and you can dye the brushes. So you take a stick, paintbrush, stick, piece of wool, paintbrush, and then dye. It's yellow. Okay, we've got three. This can get really loud. Turn it down. Done. Back to game. And technically, we can go to a wall and then right click, hold it down. Depending if that does not want to go. I think that's that, that the paint chipper one. I think that is. Oh, there's a paintbrush, but it doesn't, doesn't have any color to it. So use the dyes. Again, use the link in the forum to find all your crafting recipes. It said it's, it's pretty basic. Um, you can also use a chipping tool, which just that ironing got in uh, a stick to chip away at your paint. Um, that's really it. That's how to install the paint mod. Uh, like I said, again, if you want to install the mod loader version to use with other mods, if it's compatible, install the mod loader first then the paint client. It's the mod loader first, then the paint client. All right, everyone, that's pretty basic. Uh, again, leave your uh, comments down below. Leave a like if it helped you out. And as always, remember to rock on.